Hello, I am Neha and intern at YoShops.com. So for today's video, the topic is cryptocurrency. So, what is a cryptocurrency? So, a cryptocurrency is a form of a digital asset based on a number of network that is distributed across a large number of computers. So, in simple language, the cryptocurrency is a digital form of cash. So, so here let us take an example of a person A who is living in India, a person B who is living in USA. So if A wants to send money to B, he needs to contact the bank. First he will give Indian rupees to the bank and then bank will convert those rupees into dollars and then the bank will take some charges from Mr. A to converting and sending his money to Mr. B and then bank will also require all the information and checking yeah, that the sender is this and the receiver is this. He will clarify all the documents of both the parties. Then the money is, uh, the money is sent to the person B living in USA. But through cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency is what? A digital digital uh, way of cash a digital form of cash okay in this in cryptocurrency a person a living in India can send money to person living in Bay USA without the help of a bank that is called a cryptocurrency this decentralized structure allows them them to exit outside the control of governments and central authorities. A defining feature of cryptocurrencies is that they are generally not issued by any central authority, rendering them theoretically to immune government interference and manipulation. So, by not having an intermediary, person A will not need to pay any charges for, for uh, sending his money to the person in living in another country. There are no geographical boundaries in cryptocurrency. You can send your money through cryptocurrency in any place in any country. So, sending money through a cryptocurrency is usually take minimum 2 minutes and maximum will take 10 minutes. It depends on the type of currency you are sending. So, you cannot hold and cannot touch cryptocurrency as it is a digital form of cash. So let us read about more about cryptocurrencies and type of cryptocurrencies. The first type is Bitcoin. Here is a logo of Bitcoin. You can't touch, you can't feel, you can't, you can't hold a Bitcoin in your hand because it is a digital form of cash. So Bitcoin is a digital currency created in January 2009. It follows the idea set out in the white paper by the mysterious and predominant man Satoshi Nakamoto. The man is still unknown. We don't know that he is still alive or dead. We, we don't know, know that. So, there is one question that when the, when the owner and the CEO of the company, something happened to them, like something might happen to the CEO of the company. The shares, uh, the price of the company came down. But in this case, we don't know that who is Satoshi Nakamoto and we, do, we doesn't know, he's, he's still mysterious. So it won't affect the Bitcoin's price and its value. So the entity of the person or, or persons who created the technology is still a mystery. Bitcoin offers the most, offers the promise of lower transaction fees than traditional online payment mechanism. Bitcoin offers you a lower transaction fees than the other uh, than the other payment me mechanism at such through the net at such through the banks so bitcoin is a type of cryptocurrency obviously there is no physical bitcoin only balances kept on a public ledger that everyone has transparent access to all Bitcoin transactions are verified by a massive amount of computing power. So, Dogecoin is a peer-to-peer -peer open source cryptocurrency. It is considered an altcoin and almost sarcastic meme coin. Why is it 
called as sarcastic meme coin because here you, you here you can see because here you can see a picture of dog with a d letter in the cryptocurrency so this doge coin was doge doge cryptocurrency was uh, was named after the dog kabasu and the dog was a shiba dog in japan this picture is often referred to the dog meme popular online in 2010 so you still can't hold a doge coin because it's a digital form of cash that you can send to anybody the next is ethereum ethereum is a blockchain platform with its own cryptocurrency called ether or eth or ethereum and its own programming language called solidity so what is a blockchain blockchain is made up of two words which is block or chain so what is a block so a block let us take an example of a box so block so a block contains all the datas of that how much currency has been transferred to whom at what time at what place so certainly that that one box that one box will fill and the next box will come so the next so when the next box will come it will start it will start at the ending from the ending of the first block like the balance had been brought for, forward and the balance had been carried forward so certainly the next box will also fill fill that will create another box and the, the box is going on so that create a chain that is called a blockchain that is called a blockchain which consists all the database of the of the cryptocurrencies that how much they have uh, uh, paid at one time and how, how much they have sent and how much quantity they have sent that is called a blockchain so ethereum so ethereum is a blockchain which have its own cryptocurrency called ether and ethereum is an open source blockchain play, uh, based platform that creates and shares business and financial services and entertainment applications this is all for today's video thank you